Hi guys, this is me, Hikaiju Train Ships Productions here, and I am going to review Indie Case Films, um, Jaws, where fear returns, full movie. So, as I did with Godzilla Genesis, we are going to go into the good, and then the bad, which, well, technically there's no real bad in this movie. Well, eh, let's just do it anyway. Don't mind the music in the background, that's my dad. So, things that I liked about the movie was, like, there was an actual story to the characters. Like how Mushino, all of Kaiju's 621's characters, like, there was a story, like, a background behind them. Like, how, um, Marcus, where is he? Marcus, he had two sons and a wife. And like the wife, like forty two years ago, the wife was killed in the accident. And then the guy, like for the main character, I have no idea who he was voiced by. He uh, like he had a son, which, as you can see. So you could see he had a son who sadly died and like there's a background and then like there is two sharks not just a one shark and I just found that absolutely crazy and I like another thing that I like are the special effects like they're so practical there's like barely there's only I think like a one shot with green screening and that's a fire at the end if I'm Please correct me, NDK Films, if I didn't do it. Another thing, I like how, like, this is the first time that I've seen in a monster, well, a kaiju slash. Well, this is the first time I've seen in a fan film uh, where they use real water for the rain. That's pretty good. Like, not that CGI fake water, but. Like, Real water raining down on the set. Like, I think he just had the hose and then he like shot it upward and then like he brought it down or something. How movies do it, I don't know. Good job on that. Good job. Another thing that I liked are the. Wait. Oh, wait, never mind. We're still going to special fix. The blood that you used. That's pretty good. Look at the blood that I use. Yeah, yours looks way better than that. What you see on screen, which that's what I recorded for my Godzilla fan. The thing I like, or like the sets, they're pretty good. They're good. I like them. I'll give the sets a four and a half. Why no, not four and a half. Wait. Oh, I, I was almost thinking like I was doing the greatest number could be five. But I take that back. I take that back. I'm doing to ten. I forgot. Okay? So whenever you hear the four and a half part, just remember, I was almost thinking about I was going to, the highest you could get was five stars. Sorry. I'm giving it a, a, a nine and a half. There you go. It's like three fourths to perfection. It only has one fourth away until perfection. I'm sorry. I was, I, my brain is not working today. I'm sorry. I yeah, sorry about that, NDK film, so don't take the four and a half part, literally. Another thing I like is, um, like the gold, oh, I already said that. Well then, I like how the music fits each scene and stuff. I mean, there's probably a lot of stuff that I missed in this uh, film, but I mean, you can forget a lot of stuff in a short amount of time, because I literally just watched it before this video. So, but well, now to the bad. Oh, sorry guys, I forgot to affect a few things. The guy, Marcus, when he goes in the way, he shoots himself in the leg. I was expecting there to be pain, but he didn't yell at all. He just got in the water and fought like a man. Speaking of him, the one who played him, got, this is very good voice acting with like, the cast and stuff. I mean, I liked, 
if Kaiju was 621 played Marcus, then he did a good job of kind of like making it like, and if you, you can kind of know it's him, and no, you cannot know who that voice acting him. So, hope you guys enjoy, which actually, now that I think about it, I don't really have anything bad to say. So, I'm giving this movie a 10 out of 10. What the? Yeah, that's the first movie where it gets a 10 out of 10. Well, then let's say you count maybe Mushino. I don't know. Eh, goodbye.